Mike Milo. I am here with another tutorial using Storyboard Pro made by Toon Boom. So, uh, in my last tutorial, I actually deviated and taught a different thing. Uh, you can check that out. It's about creating a dynamic brush, which will allow you to uh, essentially draw a walk cycle and keep it as a brush or any other action that you want. So um, anyway, I'm going to use this for this other tutorial here. What we're going to talk about today, or this time, because it's actually still the same day, uh, vacation and whatnot. I've got time to do this stuff. Anyhow, uh, so um, we're going to talk about the layer transform tool. Now what's cool about the layer transform tool is that you can use it to slide something across the screen. So um, let's say that I want to have my character go across the screen. Uh, let's see, first things first. Yeah, we'll get that pose. Okay, so what I can do is let me increase his size a little bit. So I'm gonna start him off screen. I'm gonna turn off this uh, mask tool. And I'm going to uh, select the layer transform tool. Now that I've done that, you'll notice that my artwork has changed <clears throat> color. The box around it has changed color. Normally, Storyboard Pro has an orange box for normal selection. But when I click on this tool, the layer transform tool, now it gives me a different one. You'll notice that this little uh, circle here is in the center and not really where it is. This is in the center of, this, of the area that the camera is looking. Um, so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I am going to hit a keyframe or actually what I can do is uh, I should do this first. You see that uh, if you look at each one of these layers, you'll see there's like like a it's an icon of a of a man standing. It's not a very good icon. I can't zoom in on it to show you, but <clears throat> you can look at it yourself. So if I change if I click on him, I'm sure anyone that's used Storyboard Pro has done this and gone, what the hell is that? Why is that man turned gold? So anyway, once you hit him though, he now turns gold and he's running so he goes from standing to running so you'll also notice that at the bottom here i've created a keyframe it's just like the camera keyframes that i did in the previous tutorial but it's um in a previous tutorial um but it's um it's below instead of above so once i've done that <clears throat> Now I have this keyframe. I'm going to slide to the end of the, the the frame. You'll notice this is just one panel, and that's kind of why this is cool. And then I can grab this artwork and slide it across the screen. And you'll notice now that there's a new keyframe. So now if I scrub back and forth, you'll see that it walks across the screen, which is kind of cool. Um, it's very limiting and really I think the dynamic brush works better but a lot of people go what the hell is that and now you know um, you can also you'll see that these these hash marks here represent the old-school way that uh, animators used to um, create uh, animation uh, bars that would let you figure out how many frames you want between something and whether or not you want to uh, slow in or slow out on something. If there were more lines below, then you were slowing out. If there were more lines between or at the beginning, then you were slowing in. If you're doing it at both ends, then it's gonna start, slow out, and then it's gonna slow to a stop. Anyway, that this uh, this tool works the same way. 
And you'll notice over here that you can ease in and ease out. And if I ease in, you'll see that they start to change. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's slowing in to start. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do with this. <clears throat> I don't know if a walk cycle is really the best example, but you could do that. I think probably the... Oh, and um, you can delete these keyframes. You know, like say you do it and you go, eh, I really don't like that. I think I need to draw it. Or I'm going to use that dynamic brush thing that Mike showed us in the other tutorial. Um, you can actually just turn this off and all of those keyframes will go away. So if I just click on this little man again, you'll see disabling the animation mode will clear all keyframes from the layers. Uh, and you can click OK. And then now they're gone and now he no longer moves. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, but, you know, other things you can use this tool for is, you know, if you have a car and the car needs to go across the screen or you've got, I don't know, a locomotive or something like that. Not that I can draw a locomotive well, but here, let's attempt it. <laughs> I literally can't. And you can't draw stuff like that. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Oh, you know what? I, you know what's easier to draw? A plane. So yeah, you could make a plane in the background. I don't know what the hell a plane looks like. Yeah. Well, they look like this. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. You get the idea. I am much better at drawing people than I am inanimate objects. <laughs> Obviously. Anyway, so what you can do is take this plane, do basically the same thing. Select it. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Select it. Go to the la uh Turn on the little man. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Slide to the end. Drag him across the screen. And now the plane will... Wait. Whoa, that's weird. How is it that it starts on... It probably doesn't. Now, here's my last little bit about this. This is useful. It's only one drawing, right? So, wait, oops. So, watch this. And this is what makes it, what, why you might use the layer transform tool. I'm gonna erase this part. And I'm gonna put like propellers on it. Again, not the best at propeller drawings um but uh I'm gonna select them all what I'm gonna do watch this I'm gonna actually make this a lighter color and then that way I can select it to my heart's content. So watch. Alright. There. And I moved it in the wrong place. But I can use my handy dandy select by color tool. Grab that. Copy it. Paste it over here as well. Hmm. Alright, let's not do that yet. Watch this. Here's another little cheater tutorial. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna paste it here. I'm not sure this will work. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is you'll notice that now this oh wait, hold on. X, paste it in there. So now he flies across the screen. And you say, well, Mike, that's great, but the 
Propellers don't turn. Ah, my friend, but they can. So here's what I'm going to do. What I can do now, now that I've got this frame range and I've already got the keyframes here, I can split it up and um, then rotate the blades and it'll still slide across the screen smoothly and evenly, but the blades will also turn. This would probably be better if I had done it with a, uh, without the, you know, if it was like just in the front, but uh, I didn't. So anyway, it's fine. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go a couple of frames into it and I'm gonna go up to storyboard. I'm gonna go to split panel at current frame and you'll see that now I have two frames. You'll also see that there are two keyframes. Now this one's got its own set of keyframes. If I do the same thing and I actually have my Cintiq set up uh, uh, for this to be a shortcut so that I can do it faster. So I'm just gonna go hit that each time because it is faster. Although I've had many arguments with other people saying, no, it's just as fast to go up here. It's not. As you can see. So I'm just going to break these all up. You'll notice that each time, now the time, the each panel has its own um, uh, keyframes. Now, so you couldn't, now, now once you do this, you can't do this again in another way. Because it just won't, uh, you can't like go back and do this again. Because now that you've got the separate keyframes, it won't really work very well. All right, so we'll rotate this. Grab this. Rotate it. And you can see that it doesn't matter that I already have the keyframes on there. I can redraw anything I want after the fact. So this could also work for like a walk cycle or the characters walking, but you also want them to be um, gesturing and moving their arms or something like that. You can do that. Again, this is as down and dirty as it gets, but it does do what I'm saying. All right, so now that I've got this, I can copy all of that color with my select by color tool. I can copy and then go to every other one of them and delete it and paste. <laughs> but I cannot paste in place because it's moving. But that's all right. I can quickly move it. Because it's moving, it doesn't have to be perfectly registered. All right, oh, wait, hold on, all the way over here. I mean, uh, I think you can, while I have, without a doubt, completely bastardized the <laughs> an airplane, I can. And now the blades are moving. See it? So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. The other thing that I could have done if I wanted to, if I want to go back and get rid of all this, Let's see if I can pull that off. Yeah. I can also create other keyframes, like say halfway. Let's say the halfway I want to create another keyframe where he dips down. Well, I can do that as well. And now he will go whoosh. See, and you'll see there's another keyframe there. And I didn't have to hit a keyframe or do anything. All I had to do was go to the place I wanted the motion to happen and select my transform, layer transform tool and just, uh, oh, and um, just move it where I want it to go. Also, now this, let's say I want to rotate this slightly, and I just want it to rotate, not actually pivot from here. Well, this pivot, I can slide over here, and I believe it will not affect the animation. Yeah, it doesn't. So now I can actually rotate this. And see, now it'll rotate. And then we'll do another one and have it go. It needs the sound effects. 
it's a stormy night. Oh no. Ah. Wait, we'll make it really deep down. Wait. Alright. So um anyway, you get the idea. So that was using the layer transform tool in a few multiple ways. It's a few multiple. It's in a few ways or multiple ways. However, you know, you want to take that. All right. Well, thank you for uh, watching my tutorials on Storyboard Pro. Uh, there will be more. Um, please subscribe. And if you liked it, leave me a comment so that I know somebody's actually watching this stuff. Because otherwise, there's not much point. All right. Take care. Uh, happy holidays. Bye.